Hi. Focus. Thank you. Hi YouTube. So today I'm going to be doing the controversial parenting tag. I did this when I was 30 weeks pregnant with Hunter. And uh, yeah, my, my views have changed a lot. Like a lot, a lot. So I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna do this again. Uh, some things have changed the same. Some things, eh. And some things I still do not have a formed opinion about. But we're still gonna do it because I like to stir up controversy. So why not, right? So let's get started. Okay, pro-life or pro-choice. I am pro-choice. And I can be pro-choice with having other opinions, which will be coming up later. Because everyone is free to choose what they want to do. And do I have certain views within that? Yes, I do. I don't think that you should use abortions as birth control. Like, if you're having abortions every month, maybe you should consider some form of birth control. Even if you're not having abortions every month and you do not want to get pregnant, you should be trying to consider some form of birth control. <laughs> but, I mean, there's there's a reason. I mean, people don't just go and get them because they're like, oh, an abortion sounds fun, let's go get abortions. I'm sure that someone probably thinks that, but, I mean, most people, I think, are sane enough to think that there's a valid reason behind it. So, they should be free to make their choice. And, side note, if you get rid of abortions, you do not get rid of abortions, you get rid of safe abortions. So, people are still going to have abortions, they're still going to find a way to do it. It's just going to become a lot more dangerous. Baby wearing. Now, I sounded really clueless when I, <laughs> when I did this the first time. I love baby wearing. I love wearing my baby. Uh, I didn't do it as much as I'd like to with Hunter. I still wear him. He still gets worn. He gets worn probably more now than he ever has. Uh, and with baby number two, I'll be doing a name reveal someday, but we'll see. He's just baby number two for now. I'm going to be bear, 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 baby wearing a lot. So I plan on getting a ring sling and a woven wrap for him. So. Anyways, I have a Tula currently. I just have one Tula. I'm gonna do a whole separate video on baby wearing, but I love baby wearing. <clears throat> do it. It so makes so much sense. Like I don't get why people wouldn't want to baby wear. I mean, not. Okay, that sounded really snarky. I'm sorry. <laughs> I burnt my arm. You can't see it, but it really hurts, and I just. <sighs> Anyways, I don't know why people wouldn't want to baby wear? I think that it's just it makes sense because, for one. They want that attachment, they want to be close to you, and they're happier when they're close to you. And two, it's not as hard as carrying, like actually carrying your baby, because the weight's, the weight's not there, it's distributed. And you have your hands free, like, I can't think of something better than that. And my favorite topic, circumcision. And I still do not have a formed opinion on circumcision. At 30 weeks, I just let my husband say, I was just like, you know what, make the decision. I helped make the decision, and my views on it are still the same, pretty much, is if you want to do it, do it, whether it's religious reasons, cultural reason, reason, cultural reasons, or just because you want to do it, because it's what you think is right, it's for, I can't freaking talk because you think it's what's right for your family. Whatever the case may be, I don't think it's anyone else's business. If you don't want to do it, same reasons. And that's pretty much my only my only views on it. And no, I'm not the devil for cutting off pieces of my child's penis or whatever you people say. Okay, adoption. So with adoption, I... I don't really have any opinions on this, I don't really think that there would be any opinions on adoption, but pretty much just adoption's great, and it's great for the people that can are willing to carry a baby and give it to someone that cannot have a baby, is, I, I will always say this, is I could never do it, but I'm so thankful that there are women that 
are willing because there are women who cannot have children and they want that and it's the people that give their children up for adoption that make it possible for those mothers to be mothers. I'm so thirsty. Baby piercing. So again, it's just kind of like do what you want. I mean, I don't get why people get so butthurt over things like this. But I will tell you this, if I had a girl, her ears would be getting pierced. Breast milk versus formula. Now, 30 week pregnant Kaylin was kind of like, well, I want to breastfeed, but I don't know if I'm going to. And now like, 15 week pregnant Kaylin now is like, I am obnoxious about breastfeeding like actually obnoxious like I've gotten into so many altercations with people because of breastfeeding and I say things and I don't mean it in a negative way where I shame other mothers about formula feeding or whatever because I used formula on my son because he didn't want to breastfeed anymore it broke my heart post breastfeeding depression is a thing I swear pretty much when I I share a lot of information whether it be on Facebook or any form of social media or within friends or family about the benefits of breastfeeding because I don't think that a lot of people realize the benefits and how a lot of medical professionals will trap you into booby traps. That's why every first time mother goes in there and they're like, well, I think I'm gonna breastfeed, but I'm not sure because I don't know how it's gonna work. It's because chances are that if you can get through those first six weeks is that you're golden. And there are lactation consultants and there's people out there that are willing to help. Now if you have a valid reason and you don't want to breastfeed or you honestly can't breastfeed or whatever it is, I'm glad there's formula because baby needs to eat. I'm not saying anything shaming other mothers when I say things like that because I mean it's a simple statement that I'm pretty sure 95% of people know that best is breast. Best is breast? Breast is best. I don't know why I always mix that up. but. I'm going to do a whole another video on breastfeeding because it is probably the thing that I'm the most passionate about. I'm going to do a video one day about that. Spanking. Now, this is another thing that makes me cringe in my old videos because I get mad when people, when I see other people spank their children or hit their children and I mean I know it's not my place to say anything but I'm entitled to my feelings and I won't hit Hunter. I discipline him, yes. I tell him not to do things, yes. But I try to do positive reinforcement and I try to redirect him if he's doing something wrong because I don't want him to think of me as an authority figure that's going to hurt him. That's not what I want in any which way. Co-sleeping. I love co-sleeping. I recommend co-sleeping to every mom because it's so much easier for one. You don't actually have to get up, get out of bed, go feed the baby, go lay down. By the time that you're falling asleep, they're up again. And for two, it's such a great bonding experience. I loved it, my husband loved it, Hunter loved it, and we will be doing it again. At a certain point, he became a bit of a bed hog and he wasn't sleeping well anymore and I knew it was time that he needed to go into his own crib. Initially, he sleep with us and everything but for the most part I'd lay him down on his own and once he woke up that first time he'd come into bed with us and he'd sleep the rest of the night and I did that until he went to his own crib and um, yeah I think I'm gonna do a whole separate video on hunter sleeping patterns because that's all this is about I like co-sleeping I recommend it it has a lot of benefits home versus public ho versus private versus charter schools now, all those are wonderful options. We're doing public. That's all I'm going to say. Vaccinations. Now, I don't really have a formed opinion on vaccinations. I believe, yeah, you should vaccinate your child, but I'm not against mothers that do delayed vaccinations either. And this is something that I haven't researched very much and I really think I should. But yeah, that's kind of my opinion. Where I stand as of today. Medicating children. Now I still believe that you should 
if your child has a fever or something, you should do something about it, like give them medicine. Now, I have, I've tried like the more natural remedies as opposed to Tylenol and stuff, but really I don't find that they work as good. I don't know. I don't really know what the opinions are on medicating children. Cloth versus disposable diapers. Now I looked at this the other day and I laugh because I'm planning on cloth diapering baby number two and I'm even considering transitioning Hunter into diaper cloth diapers for until he's potty trained because all these stupid disposable diapers are giving Hunter diaper rash and it will be so much cheaper and I actually really want a cloth diaper and I laugh at myself because I was like I'll never cloth diaper nope never and now I'm like and I wasn't even watch I didn't even watch this before I ordered a bunch of cloth diapers either and here we are we have cloth diapers and we're, we're planning on cloth diapering so my husband's not crazy on it I am so if I'm the only one doing diaper changes I pretty much am anyway so now the cry it out method now I said that I liked attachment parenting and I think some of the things that I say are kind of contradicting because I'm still not 100% against cry it out now with that being said I am against letting your child cry figure that one out Hunter I know there's a difference between when he's crying because he's in distress crying because he's tired crying because he wants attention crying because who knows what and when he's crying because he's in distress I fly in and I take him when he's crying just to get attention why would I go to him like I know that he's not crying for legitimate reason he just wants me to go there now with that being said I give him attention but if it's nap time and he just wants to go out of that crib and he needs a nap and he's gonna be fussy if he's not in there I say I will let him cry for two minutes if he starts crying because he's in distress I won't let him cry for a second longer so yes so those are my updated views and I am sure that they are going to change again and really, I was thinking about this, is that I think there's a lot of other topics that should be mentioned in these controversial parenting tags, so maybe I'll even make a second controversial parenting tag, because why not? So, yep, those are pretty much my views. You can agree with them, you cannot agree with them. I don't really care, it's not going to change anything. Side note, I did not mean to offend anyone in any which way. Trust me, as long as you're doing what's right for your child, that's the best. Will I try to share information with people and try to and share my opinion? Yes, I will. Just like you're entitled to that too. And if you have any information that you would like to share with me, share it, but share it in a productive way. So I will see you in my next video, which will probably be a pregnancy update. We'll see. So I will talk to you later. Bye.